Hello YouTube, I've got a battle for you today against James, and he's from Pokemon Prodigy, which is a really cool Zat, and um, you guys should go check it out because there's always someone wanting to fortune battle there. So yeah, I'll leave the link in the description. Okay, let's get this battle started. I lead off with my Sceptile, and he leads off with uh, Charizard, and this is an OU battle, but I have a UU and he has an NU. Which is ridiculous. That should never happen. But it does, and I get a one hit KO with a rock slide because I am a banded Sceptile, and that rules because he's so strong and he can rock slide Charizards and such. So obviously, I'm not going to want to rock slide this stupid thing. He is going to wall me pretty well, actually. Oh, wow. I got really close to the mic there. Um, And he sets up Stealth Rocks, knowing I'm gonna switch and then I go for the flamethrower and he just happens to have the Aka Berry which really sucks because that would have killed him and this is my only OU in the team actually Infernate right here and he goes for the trick room and then he catches me completely off guard boom boom goes to dynamite and now he's exploded and I'm all sad now because my only OU is dead. So here we are on blind switch. And um, I send out my Sceptile again because I don't want him to see any more of my team than he has to right now. And I forgot all about the trick room already. Yeah, I have memory lapses. And he does a meteor mash and that's going to kill me of course. I think this thing is banded, and you can see attack. Ah, oh, man, he got an attack raise, which is really, really bad. So, um, I go here into my King Extreme so I can earthquake him, and yeah, he's not banded. Never mind. But he gets the attack raise, and that's gonna be enough to be able to take out my King Extreme, even though he's pretty bulky. At least I think it's in defense. It could be in special defense. I don't know. It, I'm not exactly sure. But, yeah, either way, he's dead right there. So I have to send in two Madre so I can stall out this um, trick room because it's starting to wear on me. And I don't like that because my teams usually my teams are usually pretty fast. I mean... So the twisted dimension turned back to normal. So that means your mother is going to be faster. So I set up the wish because I've got a plan. Pretty sure I'm going to get destroyed here by this meteor mash. And um, yeah, I am. That's so true. And I'm dead. And now I've got the plan to send in Crobat because no one ever expects this. No matter who I play. Well... If they played me before, if they've seen my videos, they expect this. But why would I switch in a Crobat willingly onto a Metagross? Why would I do that? Because Heat Wave is going to kill him. If he would have had Bullet Punch, I think that would have killed me. I'm not too sure. With with the attack rates, I think it might have. But that, not the point of the story. He got a little too overconfident, and he didn't expect the Heat Wave, and your mother's wish came true. And there we go full health but I am locked into heatwave now and right here I play I make a really really bad play and it costs me the game actually um, I switch into my Typhlosion I don't know why I did that but he just thunderbolts me and I'm gonna die from that I don't think I will have died from a thunderbolt full health it depends on if he was specs or not I have no idea so yeah that happens and I send in my crowbat and he's definitely not gonna be able to live this Thunderbolt and he's my last Pokemon so good game there James um like I said go check out that Zat it's a uh, a lot of fun a lot of fun and it's the best yeah so see you later YouTube